Hey there, it's Kat and this is Bruise and Reviews. So today I'm going to be bringing you guys my Hemisphere Christmas Readathon TBR. So I'm really excited for this readathon. Ever since it was announced, I'm super excited about this because it's hosted by a bunch of great people. Uh, there are a lot of hosts, so I will link them all down below. Uh, but I'm really, really excited to join in with this one. So the concept of this readathon is that different hemispheres of the world experience Christmas in a different way. So it's kind of a chance to actually broaden your experience of Christmas through reading and also compete against the other hemisphere. So obviously as I'm from the UK I will be competing for the Northern Hemisphere and I am excited. I'm probably being a little bit ambitious with this TBR but you, you know it's fine. Um, also the other reason that this is super ambitious is because I'm also doing two other readathons this same week. They're all running at the same time but like a day apart from each other so it's gonna be a fun time. <laughs> It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a good time. I've got a lot of books to read. I'm gonna read them all. Determination. Challenge number one is to read a Christmas book from the other side of the world. And for this one I'm gonna be reading The Christmas Tree Thief by Philippa Neffrey Clark. And I believe this is set in Australia at Christmas and it's like a cozy mystery about somebody who's stealing Christmas trees from shop windows and that's all I know about it. Mostly it was something that I could get my hands on relatively cheaply on Kindle that was a Christmas book that was kind of sort of cozy mystery thrillery things because this book is going to double up for another readathon. I'll explain that in the TBR for that readathon. Anyway, uh, yeah, I hope this book fills the prompt. It sh I think it's relatively short, so I'm looking forward to it. Challenge number two is to read a book that features a different culture or a different religion than my own. Uh, yep, so I'm not religious, so any religion would be good for this, but I decided to go for culture. I decided to read Labyrinth Lost by Zoraida Cordova and that's simply because I started this book. Um, I was gonna read Mexican Gothic when I thought I had would have finished Labyrinth Lost, but I haven't, so I'm gonna be reading Labyrinth Lost because I really want to finish it. I only got about an hour into it, so I'm gonna restart it and then actually get into it. Um, so I believe this is about sapphic witches and what I had read of it was really interesting. I'm really intrigued about it. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna be reading that one. Challenge number three is to read a cozy read, and for that one I'm gonna be reading Death Masks. Death Masks? Death Masks. Death Masks! <laughs> for that one I'm gonna be reading Death Masks by Jim Butcher. This is book five in the Dresden Files, and for me these are cozy reads because they're really simple to read, they're, they're just fun, they're easy reads, and I have a good time when I'm reading them. So I feel like I have it on audiobook, I can get curled up, with a blanket, hot water bottle, cup of coffee, just, you know, it can be nice and cosy, so, yeah, I mean, it doesn't sound cosy with being called death masks, but, like, in my head, that equates to a cosy read for me. Challenge number four is to read a book with a dark cover, and for that one I'm going to be reading Timeline by Michael Crichton. And why am I smiling as I'm holding this book up? I don't know, it's only been on 27 TBRs since, you know, forever. I keep putting this book off. It's got deckled edges, it's a hardback, it's an ugly cover, but I'm like, fuck it. If this is the only book that I get read for this readathon, then it will be an achievement because I am going to read this damn book. How many times have I said that? A lot. But like this time, for real. If you don't know what this book is about, it's about a group of, I think, archaeologists who go back in time to 14 something France and, um, they're trying to save someone, there's like a time travel thing, but it keeps taking them back to this certain point in time. Anyway, I loved the film and I should finally read this book, so if can you just like yell at me in the comments to read this book until I read this book because I need to read this book. Challenge number five is to read a mysterious or dark book, and for that one I'm going to read The Crucifix Killer by Chris Carter. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean it looks kind of grim. It's about a murderer. So yeah, kind of dark, kind of mysterious, find out who the killer is. I think it's a detective type book. It is, a, it's a homicide detective type book. And uh, yeah, I've never read anything by Chris Carter, so it should be interesting. Challenge number six is to read a book that takes place predominantly inside. And this was actually a really hard prompt to figure out because I was like, well, I haven't read the book, so how do I know if it takes place inside? And then I thought, thrillers. Thrillers? kind of take place inside, especially if they're like a locked in type thriller, I, I like a lot of those. Anyway, so I don't know if this book actually takes place predominantly inside, I guess we'll find out. Let's just 
cross our fingers and hope for the best that This Lie Will Kill You by Chelsea Pitcher is inside. I mean, it does say on the back, five survivors arrive at an isolated mansion. Uh, five arrived, but not all can leave. So I feel like the main crux of the story is going to take place in the mansion. So hopefully it takes place inside. Hopefully. Challenge number seven is to pick a warm Christmas snack and long than I probably gonna pick mince pies because like I used to hate mince pies but now I kind of love mince pies when they're, like, they've been warmed up a little bit and they just just eat them on their own and they're just nice or I'll have a hot chocolate if that counts um, both of those things are nice and probably Christmassy things maybe I'll make gingerbread who knows if I can be bothered to make things or go to the shop and buy the ingredients for these things hmm. I'm also thinking of vlogging the readathon, it is one of the optional challenges for this and uh, I don't know, I'm not really going to be going anywhere because I don't want to go out in a pandemic and um, yeah, maybe I'll film in front of my Christmas tree though so you'll be able to see that if the cat hasn't knocked it over by then. So I'm really excited for this readathon and I can't wait to actually get through these books. Again, please please yell at me to read Timeline because I, I need it, I really, I need to get this book off my TBR, it's been on there for like a very long time now and I've been actively trying to read it for about three years and I still haven't done it, so please yell at me. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!